The Central Bank of Kenya has insisted on the tough rules for high-value cash withdrawals to mitigate money laundering and terror financing. CBK Governor Patrick Jaroge told parliamentarians that the regulations are not punitive given that less than 1% of Kenyans have a balance of over 1 million shillings in their accounts. The CBK boss stood his ground, saying that removing the regulation would make Kenya a safe haven for laundering money and other illicit cash, uh, other illicit cash flows. Sam Ogina now reports. The CBK governor was appearing before the National Assembly's Finance Committee over the bank's regulations limiting transacting of over a million shillings a day. The governor unbowed. Now the war against corruption, dear members, money laundering and terrorism, of, terrorism financing will be impaired if indeed the requirements on cash withdrawal and deposits are weakened. Furious MPs questioned the reluctance by CBK in implementing an amendment to the Banking Act that would open up the cash flow, an amendment that was passed in October of 2018. No citizen, not even the government of the Central Bank here, can choose what to obey and what not to obey. So long as that law exists for the statute of the Republic of Kenya. We are helping you. We are legalizing your, 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 your memos. In fact, they are not regulations. You are circulars. Bring them to this house. The point is that it was impossible. It is true you can give us a law to implement, but if it is impossible to implement, we cannot implement. In a sense, it is an implementable law. So it is unimplementable. Then came the kicker from CBK that less than 1% of the bankable population in Kenya have a million shillings in their accounts. With the World Bank putting the numbers of account holders in Kenya at 41.2 million Kenyans, going by CBK numbers, less than 300,000 Kenyans have a balance of over 1 million shillings in their accounts. 40.9 million account holders operating less than a million shillings. You can see the numbers are quite small. So this isn't even 90%, it's, zero point, it's, it's 99.3%. Secondly, most customers can immediately answer the necessary questions. Nevertheless, innovations by banks. As such, Central Bank is adamant that the banking regulations are well grounded to insulate the country from suspect cash flows and a remedy to close the taps on proceeds of graft. That the regulations also assures the country's standing in the global financial environment. Cash monitoring is essential, as we mentioned a moment ago, also because criminals performing illicit activities prefer using cash. Sam Ogenesis TV, Nairobi.